the Grand Zero Maiden Hurdle is next up then. On the top one is Cheris, Martin Lee of Dancing Dead. Kevin Mina had Elusive Mai, Daniel French, Graded Argan, Darren Thompson, Hitchhiker, Ponty Bull Racing, Traditionalist Paul Rhodes, Triple Seven, Leon Van Rensburg, Denza Peel, Obi Wan, Miss Fourth, Alex Cherry, Montrose, David Robertson, Never Murray, Derek Hinton, Paratus, Tam King, and Swift Lady Darren Howells. Two and a half miles this time then. Starting on a bend, and one's on wide, might be a little bit disadvantaged to start, but. Plenty of time to get into a decent position and grown in Argran. Looks like the one is going to be taking him into the first of the 14 flights in the lead. We've missed fourth, just the back marker at the moment. As they go on to the first and finally get to it, and over it they go. They're all skipped over that one, okay. With Den's appeal just a little bit sticky at the back. Graded Argan has settled down in the lead from. A bunch of greys, a couple of greys chasing. That's elusive my and traditionalist. Not traditionalist at all, it's Paratus. As they take the next traditionalist is the all roads also. They're already over three then now. And racing down to the fourth. Uh, really tightly pat these hurdles. And over that one they go. And they're all safely over that one as well. And elusive Myers now come through to take it up from graded Argan in second. Traditionalist Hitchhikers after that one, and Dancing Dad and Paratus. Montrose is next in Cheris, widest on the track with Swift Lady the back marker. But that back six is virtually in a straight line formation at this stage. And Elusive Mai is the leader by about a length. Taking that left hand turn to Graded Argan in second. And Traditionalist and Hitchhiker. Montrose is next. Paratus, the second of the three graces after that one. Swift Lady is the third grey that was just on the outside of Miss Fourth, who's moved significantly closer. They're still fairly tightly grouped. And Elusive My leads by about a length and a quarter as they take the fifth. We'll skip over that one, okay. There's Cheris, another back marker. But it's Elusive My in front, graded Argan second, and Traditionalist third. Dancing Dad is after that one as they take number six. And we'll jump that one nicely. Cheris jumped it quickly at the back and himself out of back spot as they take number seven and that's the midway point in the jumping and they're all hurdling well at this stage these maiden hurdlers most of them made their debut last week and elusive my will take them past the winning post with one more circuit to go and elusive my is the leader from graded argan about a length and a half back in second and there's a gap of about three or four to dancing dad and hitchhiker with never murray on the outside then paratus then traditionalist has got the rail behind that one is swift lady then montrose cheris is after that then den's appeal with miss fourth and triple seven and they're just the back marker but elusive might lead down to half a length there it's graded argan comes up on the outside hitchhiker's moved into a clear third make their way towards the next they've got a little more than a mile to go and graded argan and elusive might dispute the lead now they're about two lengths clear of the remainder as they skip over number eight all over that one okay with elusive my and graded argan they are about to be joined it would seem by hitchhiker in third as they take number nine didn't jump it all that well as a fall at the back never murray's gone so derek hinton's horse crashes out of the race as they take the tenth and they're all over that one okay. Slow jump at the back by Miss Fourth and Elusive Mai. Just about still the leader from Graded Argan. Over the 11th they go. Field now beginning to bunch. It's Graded Argan and Elusive Mai with Paratus going well on the outside. Traditionalist Hitchhiker Montrose and then Dancing Dad. These are clear of Cheres. It looks to be between the leading group at the moment. And it's still Graded Argan and Elusive Mai have disputed the lead most of the way. Then Paratus who's been going well. Then Hitchhiker and Traditionalist. Then Montrose. Then Triple Seven. Cheres He's trying to run on draw the leading group. It was Dancing Dad who's the back of that leading that leading group. And it's Greg and Argan in front from Elusive Mind second. Then traditionalist Paratus. Then comes Montrose, Dancing Dad at the back of that leading group. The two trying to run on to join it at Triple Seven and Cheris, but they've got a lot of running to do as they race down towards the next. This is a third from home. And it's graded Argan who's now clear by two as Elusive Mind begins to give way. It's graded Argan over to third last in the lead from traditionalist and Dancing Dad. Paratus and Hitchhiker. Montrose looks to be going well, Lucid Mai's beaten, Triple Seven's running on, but it's graded Argan up the second last, lands in the lead, but being strongly pressed now by a traditionalist, and traditionalist takes it up, here comes Dancing Dad, trying to dance his way into the lead, it's the final flight, over it they go, and Dancing Dad puts one good move in, and Dancing Dad is going for the 
going for the win here on the outside. It's traditionalist dancing dad, dancing dad, to the clear of the remainder of the line. It's traditionalist just takes it, dancing dad as the saddle for second. Then Montrose and Paris as Cheris might have been last. But they looked like the dancing dad was going to go and steal the show as they always do. But he didn't today. The traditionalist just held on. And traditionalist takes it for Paul Rhodes. Dancing Dad is second for Kevin Meenahan. Uh, Montrose for David Robertson. Looks like his third. Paratus for Tam King. Run a good race again in fourth. And then Hitchhiker for Pontypool Racing was fifth.